So in Geotech, we started uh, with the 3D construction as part of our building technology and standardization center. It's a, a center that is being formed in alliance with the government. And the purpose of the center is also to update the building code in Oman and to align it to our uh, Oman vision of 2040. And uh, part of uh, this center, we wanted to build a research of uh, building material. And the idea came where the idea we had it earlier, but uh, with, the, with the center, it got like, uh, let's say, like, you know, more involved that we really need uh, the 3D printing because we cannot say we experiment with the new technologies if you don't have it in hand. Uh, our first project was in, uh, in our campus. It was part of our training and it was also a house of 190 square meter. And uh, when we started, the usual practice here in uh, in our management is they give us very strict uh, deadline so we got the deadline that the opening ceremony is going to be 14th of december and and uh, uh, i was also supervising some of the thesis project i selected the, our best uh, students and uh, that's how we started uh, later on we got an exception that in uh, dukum area which is a dukum economical zone they established that the 3d printing is uh, like in one of the approved construction method and to encourage it, they give us the, uh, this project. So that the redesigning took two weeks of our time of our time schedule, and we were tied up with the contract to finish it within a month. And uh, luckily, we found the best sand that we can ever find before we de printing in the Tokom. And that was really one of the, uh, the things that helped us, like you know, print smoothly without having to stop at all. So we started our schedule at night. We never expected to finish on uh, to hit this record, but it, like the the printing was so smooth. The weather, I mean, I think maybe all the factors were in our favor. I mean, from the weather perspective, from the material, from and also from the continuous support. I mean, all these factors played a role that we can push the printer to the limit. So we were printing for almost around eight hours a day. I didn't even know that would be like a, a new record, but uh, we, uh, we wanted to just to stick to the contract of 15 days to finish the project and leave the site for the main contractor to, fin uh, to, uh, to complete. <laughs> and when we shared the news with the Kobo, then that's when they told us that, no, that's a, a new, uh, that's a strong accomplishment. Uh, the main challenge is the exposure. People are always scared of what they don't and what they don't see or what they don't understand. So when we we got the printer and we printed the first house and the exposure started. That's when we start being approached and that's when we start like, you know, seeing changes. Uh, we're glad that even the government sector is pushing to see how we can proceed with this technology safely, you know, to make it, uh, you know, to include it also in the building code. They are updating right now currently the building code in Oman. Uh, one of the topics they want to include is also the 3D printing and what, what are the standards to follow and all like you know how to lay down the parameters and the last is the cost the cost of the material or the construction is really minimum but you know when it comes to like you know the logistics or the price of printer that's what a bit drives the price up and uh, don't forget in oman it's a more of a labor intensive market and the price is a huge parameter i mean you know and this is one of the main challenges here so these are the challenges. Other than that, I mean, the challenges will grow and we will have new challenges. I see the evolving fast. Uh, the demand for construction is, is growing. Uh, it just, you know, are we able to keep up? This is one of the things that, uh, why we purchased the printer now in, in the early stages, is to experiment with it and to see how we can advance it. I mean, as a university, we are not only looking to use the printer, but also we always seek how to advance it, how to, how to make it uh, like more feasible to the market, and uh, uh, as I said, like you know, there are some obstacles preventing, which are one of them is uh, testing these uh, buildings. How we, how can we test them? How we can prove to them, uh, to the people that okay, these are like you know, they they are as strong as a normal house, or, or maybe even much stronger. So this is what is missing: the comfort and the guarantee of the for the people that. It's, but it's a balance of the two. Uh, most of the houses here are not exceeding two stories high to three stories high is the maximum. So I don't see that why the technology is not applied. Uh, 
as I said, you know, when uh, we got the opportunity to print in in uh, the Dohom, we took the chance, and when we we completed in record time, you cannot imagine the demand that we are getting, the request that we are getting. So is, is, is the, uh, that we have to provide the comfort for the people to see that okay, this is a safe structure. This is like even strong structure. It's not it's not an easy one. It's not as like a simple. And also, the challenges will come also more and more because you know people will start demanding more. The flexibility that the printer provides uh, raises a lot of questions. People wants to build domes for like for mosques. Ah, uh, well, we bought, before we bought the printer, we actually did our research. And uh, if you want to do the best, then you have to partner with the best. You know, if you want to enter to a racetrack, you don't. You have multiple ingredients. One of them is uh, you have you need the best car. If you buy a Porsche, and you have the right driver, can push it to the limit. And that's what actually we were seeking. I mean, the continuous support that we're getting from Kobo, uh, the technology they are using is. It's really what we are looking for. I mean, you know, the, you know, they are continu continuously uh, uh, in contact. Whenever we face a problem, we just, you know, we call them and they help us. So all these ingredients. I mean, we actually wanted to partner with the best, and but you can see the results actually.